Rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. How is that now? I don't know how we're recording. Is this now? Okay. Folks, I don't know what's happening. This is asking me to rotate my phone. Now, there's a new iOS 7, so I, I don't know how this is... I don't know how this is uh, capturing the video. It looks like it looks like it is not uh, going the same way. So let's see if we need to do it this way. Oh, but I need to adjust my tripod now. <laughs> okay, we are in trouble. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see how I figure this out for a minute, folks. Uh, I know I can. Hey, Joe. Joe. Okay. I guess in the interest of time, we'll do it this way. Okay? Joe, go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, Good morning. I'm experimenting on the new iOS 7. Uh, I mean, sorry, iOS 11. Uh, so there are new features even on uh, Facebook Live. So I had not uh, uh, put this on anytime sooner today. So I don't know if we are being taken upright, sideways. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, you tell me. Anyway, today is a very nice feast day. It's the feast of our guardian angels. Okay, October 2, feast of our guardian angels. So let me read the gospel for today and uh, we will comment on this and I'm going to uh, reveal to you that uh, true story of uh, the guardian angel uh, miracle or guardian angel appearance that actually uh, that actually happened to me that was uh, granted that favor uh, by God see okay in a minute Let's read the gospel. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. There you go. What greater proof do we have that the angels are real and that we indeed have guardian angels than our Lord's own words? Right? He himself tells us here, See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. In the, uh, during the feast day of the uh, archangels, our Lord also talks about, um, talks about the existence of the angels. When he told Nathaniel, Well, you believe me because I said I saw you under a fig tree, but uh, wait until you see the angels um, descending and ascending upon the Son of Man. Okay? Our Lord's own words about the existence of the angels is proof enough that indeed the angels are real. Now the angels are pure spirits. And in fact, in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, we have that question, right? The question, who are the chief creatures? creatures? Of God. God. Okay, what's the answer? The chief creatures of God are men and angels. Chief creatures of God are men and angels. So our catechism teaches that um, that very concrete, very specific point that um, the, the chief creatures of God are men and angels. There's something we have in common with the angels, and that is our spirituality, our spiritual nature. The angels, the angels are pure spirits, of course. They have no bodies. Uh-oh, uh what's going on there? 
Now, of course, uh, the way they're depicted sometimes is, you know, they have wings, they have bodies, but that's just for us to to try and picture them because we are material beings. And uh, as material beings, we always uh, uh, have a need for some kind of a physical representation of the uh, supernatural realities that, uh, that uh, we experience every day. So, but the angels are pure spirits. And the angels have been given to us by God really as a manifestation of His providence, of His love. See? Because the angels are there uh, to be our companions in life, to be our protectors, to be, to be the ones to uh, help us in every need, both spiritual and material. And that is very real, my friends. That is very real. Okay? And uh, we ourselves uh, in our family uh, were trying to foster a very, very big devotion to the uh, guardian angels. It's very real. And uh, we, have, we have plenty of stories that we can relate. One of my favorite stories, though, is something that happened to me personally. So let's go there. Let me tell you that story. This, this, huh? Once upon a time. Once upon a time. <laughs> many years ago. Let's see if you can compute, Joe. This, this thing happened in 19... 98. How long ago was that? 19 years. Huh? Oh, yes, 19 years ago. 1998. So almost 20 years ago. Okay. I was uh, going back to Manila from my uh, assignment, from my provincial assignment in the, in the province and city of Iloilo. So I can see some of you there on the broadcast, uh, my friends from Iloilo. There's um, uh, Brit Stupas is on the on the call, and um, and um, so I was going back to Manila. I was teaching. Uh, I was teaching in the University of the Philippines then, and I was going back to Manila uh, after being uh, asked to uh, serve as. Vice President for Academic Affairs of the University of Makati. So I was very new. It was my second day back in Manila, in a busy, busy uh, Manila suburb. I was held up at gunpoint and almost mugged. So uh, that was that was what happened. At gunpoint, there was this guy who uh, uh, stole. Everything I had, I had my attache case with, of course, all my important papers uh, and uh, documents. I had my laptop, uh, and all of that was taken away from me. And uh, uh, what I recall from the situation, of course, is that the, the man who uh, accosted me was very rattled and appeared startled at one point. But then he took off with all my stuff. And since that was uh, late, late in the afternoon, it was not yet uh, quite evening, uh, I decided, you know, I'll let this day pass. And uh, tomorrow morning, the following day, I was going to the police station to report the incident. So that's what happened. Uh, the following day, I went to the police station, the nearest police station to where the incident happened. I went there to report the incident. And guess what happened? As I was there, waiting for my turn to be interviewed by the police, I see this man walking up to me. The same guy who held me up. And I know I was very sure I recognized the guy. And I didn't realize how short he was, <laughs> how small a guy he was, and how much taller and bigger I was. See? And I was just full of rage at that point, right? Because I was too sure this was the guy and I was just about to pounce on him. But he already had his hands up as he saw me staring at him. He immediately put his hands up and said, please, please, please don't get mad at me. Wait, I am going to return everything I took from you. See? Oh, so, okay, that stopped me in my tracks. So you did it. You're the guy. And you know, 
I said, yeah. he said, yes, yes, yes. I was the guy last night and I recognize you. And I, uh, uh, so let me explain what happened. And he said, then I asked, of course, why are you here in this same station where I am? And he said, I was just, I just figured you were going to come here and, and you were going to report it here. And I was really hoping that either you had filed your report and I can trace you by some kind of a address or phone number so I can return everything. Or I was hoping to find you here so that I could explain myself and return everything that I took from you. So I entertained him and I said, okay, so let's talk about it. Right? Everybody is trying to mix their milk. Uh, I'm a little distracted kid, so it was one. <laughs> let me tell my story. So anyway, the guy confesses and says, you see, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry I, I did that uh, to you and I caused you uh, trouble. But let me tell you why I... I am doing this. Let me tell you why I'm apologizing and why I'm returning everything that I got from you. And he says, you know what? As I had my gun pointed on you last night, I saw your guardian angel. I saw your guardian angel. So, of course, I was dumbfounded. I said, what do you mean you saw my guardian angel? Then he says, I saw your guardian angel. I said, where? Here? There? <laughs> uh, but he was visibly, uh, he was visibly affected by that. And you can see the change in his, in his demeanor, in his aura, in his, he just became so solemnly touched by the fact that my guardian angel made an appearance to him. And so he said, that's why, that is why I ran away as fast as I could from you. He said, I ran away as fast as I could from you and I, I, I could not stand uh, seeing him uh, um, any longer, right? So he actually really scampered away, but with all my things, right? And he says, and I got really, really so afraid so afraid that uh, as soon as I could uh, be by myself, he said, uh, I opened up your attache case. And of course, what did I see there? He said, I saw your rosary <laughs> and I saw your Bible and I saw uh, uh, an image, images of uh, the Blessed Virgin. Uh, you know, I have my little uh, stampitas and crucifix and all that. He saw all of that on my attache case. My, my, my briefcase, <laughs> yeah, sorry, I keep using that term, my briefcase. It's my bag where I have all my, 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 my stuff. And so he said, you know, the first thing I did after that was I just closed that bag and I ran to the closest church. And in that church, I knelt down and asked our Lord for forgiveness. You know, the church, I remember very well, the church is St. Jude. The Church of St. Jude, yeah, near near Malacanang Palace in Manila. So those of you who know that church, for you from the Philippines, you would know that church. Uh, he went there to St. Jude, late at night, praying, asking God for forgiveness for what he did. And that he resolved that the following day, he was going to look for me, uh, in whatever way he can, so that he can return everything that he stole from me that night. So you see, folks, that is my very real, true story of how a guardian angel has protected me from that kind of harm and has restored to me everything that this thief and hold upper has uh, taken from me. So, and that, of course, solidified even more the uh, devotion that I have always had with my uh, guardian angel. You see, our guardian angels are our friends. God gave each of us a guardian angel. And Mia, you have a question? Yeah. And Mia, in fact, asked me here just before uh, we started the bro this broadcast. Is she asked, Papa, does, does 
everybody have a guardian angel, including those who are not Catholics? The answer is yes. Yes, God gave all of us guardian angels to protect us, to guide us, to help us, both spiritually and materially. Here is very, very clear evidence of the material help that my own guardian angel uh, uh, did for me. Right? He appeared to, uh, to this robber in order to protect me from something that could have turned out to be even worse. Right? So that is what the guardian angel can do for, for us. So, you know, friends, I encourage you to be real good friends with your guardian angels. In fact, one thing I've learned since I was a kid was uh, to give a name to my guardian angel. Okay? And this you might find funny. But since I was a kid, I had a name for my guardian angel. And since my guardian angel was my hero, my guardian angel was my best friend. Okay, and I treated him like a hero to, to protect me, really protect me from, from, uh, from sin, from the devil, and from temptation. I named him Popeye. <laughs> yeah, you know that, right? I named him Popeye. Why? Because during my, my childhood, the most popular uh, cartoon hero was Popeye. And I was a big fan of Popeye. So my guardian angel's name is Popeye. Up to now, he is Popeye. So, and you know, you know, you kids, you you kids hear me all the time when I when I want to ask my guardian angels help. I always tell you, right? You pray to Popeye. See, you pray to my Popeye because I'm pretty sure he's always there. And Popeye saved me from that mugger and that and that robber, uh, and he has always saved me from many other situations. That every time I call upon his help. You know, one of, the, one of the most effective things, and here is again another very true story. 99% uh, of the time, if parking space, parking space honey, you see, <laughs> mommy knows. Every time I need a parking space, every time I, I am in a tight situation and I need a parking space, Popeye. See, please get me a parking space. And I can tell you, without without fail, if not 100%, 99% of the time, I get a parking space right away. Sometimes he makes me wait a few more minutes than, than usual. But I always get a parking space. So Popeye is also my great parking space uh, finder. Agent. Yeah. Okay. And and you know what? Many other things during the day. Many, many little things during the day. Popeye is always there to help me. So dear friends I, and, and you kids, uh, I know that you also have your guardian angel names, but today is a very, very special day. You can you can give your names to your guardian angels. Let this October 2 be a memorable day for you and your guardian angel. Give him a name. Give her a name, you know. He has no sex, but uh, no gender, rather. So you can call uh, the guardian angel any any which way you want, but give him a name. That's a, one of the best ways to uh, treat your guardian angel really in a friendly way, in an intimate way, because your friends have names. So give your guardian angel a name, and really, from now on, make it a resolution to deal with your guardian angel intimately, in a friendly way, and really talk to him. And and uh, and and uh, confide in him. Uh, tell him the difficulties you experience. Tell him your needs, and he's there to intercede for you. He's there to help you, not only uh, uh, spiritually but also physically. Okay. Any questions? So I thought I thought I saw somebody raising questions, or raising a, a hand. Okay. Well, folks, that's it for today, huh? Joseph. No, that's it for today. I hope you and your guardian angel have a fun day. Enjoy yourselves today. Have a good day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Now, let's see how we turn this thing off.